Hey guys, happy Tuesday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. Hope you're all having a great start to your day. It is time for another round of candle reviews here on my channel. I'm going to have two reviews for you guys today. They're both going to be from Bath and Body Works. And this first one is going to be my thoughts on Bronzed Sunset. Now, Bronze Sunset is actually not a new fragrance from Bath & Body Works. This one actually initially launched last summer. I remember this candle coming out and um, there was a lot of hype around it and a lot of people reviewed this one and there was just a lot of positive feedback on both the scent and the performance. But unfortunately, by the time that I had seen all those reviews and I went to look for it in my store, it was sold out. So I was kind of upset about that because I really wanted to try this candle out, but it was sold out. Um, so when they brought it back this spring and summer, I was very excited to see it back in the lineup and I definitely wanted to pick it up to review here on my channel. And you guys, it is 100% accurate. I do love this fragrance. This is a delicious coconut sunscreeny type scent. If you were like me and you are just really enjoying these coconut, sunscreen, tropical beachy type scents right now, if you're just really in that era and mood like I am, then I think that you need to check this candle out. I'll also say if you are a fan of Bath & Body Works Coco Paradise and you are sad that that one is not back, I think you definitely need to look at this one because I think they're quite similar and I will definitely be comparing them in this review. But I will link this candle down below if you're interested. Um, it is currently available on the Bath & Body Works website, also in stores. Um, so my annual sale will be happening pretty soon here. I'm thinking in the next couple of weeks is normally when they start it. I believe it normally starts in early June. So wait maybe for that if you're wanting to either stock up on this one or just try it out for the first time. Um, I will definitely be getting a couple more of these this summer. I'm really hoping that it will go on a good sale for semi-annual sale and hopefully I can get in there pretty early on in the sale and get a few more not only just to have for the summer but I definitely want to have some of these in my backup collection just in case it doesn't come back. Um, so anyways we're going to discuss the scent first. I'll read off the notes, let you guys know what I smell, and then we will finish it off with the burn performance and strength and throw. Um, let's actually first start, though, with this label here. Um, this is another one of these labels that kind of, to me, looks like a wallpaper a little bit, almost. It's giving very, like, 90s wallpaper. Um, at first, I honestly didn't love this label, but I kind of like it. I think it's cute. I like the font that they used here. It's kind of like an Italian like cursive mix um, and I like this little palm leaf and shell that we have on the front it is just like a pink wrap around here and it's got like a little like texture feel um, I actually also love the lids on these ones they kind of have like a rattan lid here and these are just super cute and um, I'll definitely be saving this one all right, let's go ahead and get into the fragrance here. So the website says it smells like a warm golden rays at the end of a perfect beach day. And your fragrance notes are exotic coconut, island waves, and soft musk. Okay, so the base in this fragrance is definitely coconut. It is a creamy coconut and a sweeter coconut, but not necessarily like an edible coconut, I would say. I don't think you're gonna smell this and go, oh yeah, that smells like a coconut um, like dessert or anything like that. It definitely leans more coconut sunscreen smell. Um, if you're familiar with like Bath & Body Works suntan, or Yankee Candles Sun and Sand. You probably know that like coconut sunscreen type scent and that's what I definitely get in here. Um, quite similar to Bath & Body Works Cocoa Paradise, like I said. I do think that this one is maybe a little bit warmer. The coconut might be a little bit more sweet and vanilla and toasted because I definitely get a very nice smooth vanilla note running throughout this. But again, not in the way of like a gourmand vanilla, but more of just like a, um, it's just like sweet vanilla in the background that's kind of giving it like a sunscreen smell. Um, we do have the musk note in here and there's definitely a good amount of muskiness in here. Again, I think playing into that sun lotion smell. Um, almost like a sandalwood, I would say for sure. I think that that's one of the main notes in here. There's definitely some sandalwood and then maybe some amber, which almost gives it like a slight perfumey smell, but um, they just 
blend like really well with that coconut and they really complement each other quite well. Um, that's basically what this scent is. I feel like it's definitely kind of more, more like that coconut sunscreen scent that we've seen before from Bath and Body Works, but I just really have been loving these types of scents lately and I don't mind having another one in my collection because this scent is so good. And I definitely have been missing Coco Paradise. I really wish that they would have brought that one back um, in the body care as well. Um, I still have a couple more of the perfume minis, by the way, so at least I have those. But if you're looking for a good replacement, I feel like this bronze sunset is quite similar. Definitely not an exact dupe, because like I said, I think that this one is a little bit warmer. I think it has a little bit more vanilla to it. But it's just a delicious sunscreen coconut type scent with a little bit of amber in the background, a little bit of sandalwood, and then definitely some vanilla in here as well. It's amazing. This is definitely one that I will repurchase. Um, let's go ahead and get into the performance here in our burn. I will go ahead and give you guys an overhead view. Um, I did just light this up for uh, filming, so it is not quite pulled out yet. But as you can see, it is doing quite well on me. I'm about at the halfway point now. I did actually just start this one this weekend. I've been burning it quite a lot um, the last couple days, and I've gotten to the halfway point now. It's doing really good. I have not really had any burn issues whatsoever so far with this one. You will see maybe just a little bit of darkness on the top here. I did just light it up so it's not too hot yet. It's a little bit hot. Really, you can't even see it. There's just like a little bit of smuts here at the top or just like darkness or discoloration, just a bit, because I do think that these flames get kind of big if you're not on top of trimming them. But this is done really well and I haven't had any major sootiness or discoloration or murkiness in the wax or anything like that. It's done really well. Um, I will say definitely make sure you're trimming your wicks on this one. This one does have the pretty big wicks, so they want to get quite large and they want to get those carbon residue mushroom tops on them. Um, and so just make sure that you're trimming those pretty good down um, and then also limit your burn time. I haven't really had this one burning more than four hours at a time and even four hours for me is pushing it. I'm normally burning this for about three hours, three hours and a half normally four at max. But I think if you just keep that burn down, uh, that burn time down pretty low, I think that that's definitely going to help avoid any issues there. So, so far it's done really good for the burn. I'm hoping it does good. I feel like Bath and Body Works has had a lot of hits and misses lately. I've had a couple recently that have gotten really messy on me and dirty, and then I've had some that have done really well. So I am hoping and fingers crossed that this one is one that will do well for me. Um, in terms of strength and throw, this candle is also doing really good in that department. It is a solid seven for me. I would say it gets up to like a seven and a half in a hurricane. It does quite, quite well. Um, I don't need really any more strength and throw out of this one. It definitely serves its uh, purpose. I will have this one mostly burning in either the living room or the entryway. I've kind of had it alternating between those two areas and it's definitely filling up those areas and traveling out. Um, our, our house is a little bit more open concept in the front at least. The front is like the family room, the dining room, and the kitchen, and the hallway. That's kind of like all connected in one big area. And then the back of the house is the bedrooms and the bathrooms. But this candle honestly fills up this entire front of the house without any problem. <laughs> so if you're looking for a really good thrower and um, just good strength in terms of coconut tropical sunscreen type scents. I think you really need to check this one out because it does really good for the burn and the shrink and throw is amazing. So yeah, I'm a big, big fan of the scent. Again, if it goes on a good SAS deal and I have a coupon even better, I will definitely be getting a lot more of this candle because this is one that I will be enjoying throughout the end of the summer, probably until the end of August. That is when I will continue burning these scents and um, I will be enjoying them. And this is definitely one that I would have in my collection. So thank you so much to everyone who reviewed this one and really um, pushed me to buy it because it is so worth it. It's amazing. And I'm so glad 
to have this one. So that is my thoughts on Bronze Sunset. Um, let me know in the comments if you've tried this one. What are your thoughts on it? Do you like this one? And um, if you were a fan of Coco Paradise, let me know if you feel like this one is also quite similar. I definitely think that they are very probably like siblings or cousins at least. So let me know if you think that they are comparable as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested, I will link the candle in the description. Definitely uh, check that out if you are wondering about purchasing this one. But thanks so much for watching. I do have one more review, like I said, coming up a little bit later of Bath & Body Works Beach Weather. So stay tuned for that one. But thanks so much for watching. Like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here. And I'll see you guys a little bit later on today. See you then. Bye.